Hello and welcome to another edition of the Ask Dr. Pakel Show. So, past patient came to our office. Uh, they'd been to another uh, physician and uh, they were diagnosed with diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which means you have cysts on your ovaries and your menstrual cycle is not very fun. And then also they were diagnosed with fungus, uh, a candida infection on their nails, a little bit of thrush, and then also uh, complained of a lot of gut issues. Now, she also said that whenever she tried to take some of the medications that they prescribed, they all made her feel just lousy and gave her quite a few side effects. And she just said she didn't want to live that way. Are there some options? Therefore, we've got to think, you know, what, out, what is there out there that uh, could maybe tackle all of these symptoms all at once and fairly easily? So the first thing that popped into my mind, berberine. How does this work? And how did this help this patient? So let's dive right in with berberine. All right, so berberine, very interesting stuff. This is a natural compound that's been found you know, in many plants and it's been used by Chinese medicine since like 3000 BC. So it's been around for quite some time and it's been used for many things. Sometimes they'll call it the metabolic master switch, uh, which again, really, it's based because it affects a gene called AMPK and um, or an enzyme. And then, um, uh, you know, there are a lot of studies about berberine and they're all actually really good. It just amazes me that more of this isn't known. So let's talk more about berberine so you know more about it and see if it can help with your health. So number one on the list blood sugar. This woman that came to me, how can this help her blood sugar? You know, she's tried these drugs like metformin and it didn't even work for her. It didn't really bring down her blood sugar at all. Well, berberine has been compared in studies to metformin and many other blood sugar drugs and to be found very effective. And in this case with her, it absolutely dropped her A1C test down almost to normal, which fantastic. Now, again, that took about 90 days plus to do, but very exciting stuff. And uh, the next thing that berberine can help, blood pressure. Wow. So it does that too? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, it's been compared in studies to what are called calcium channel blockers, which are a lot of the blood pressure medications that most people take. And it's been shown to be va it's a vasodilator, which it helps those arteries to relax, which lowers blood pressure and it acts as a natural calcium channel blocker. So pretty amazing stuff. And that's what we found with her. Her blood pressure started to go down more towards normal range, which very exciting. And of course, was making her feel better. And then the next thing that berberine affects cholesterol. So why wow, another, another thing with berberine. So also we gave this patient who had high cholesterol, not only did it lower her LDL level, but it increased her HDL, her good cholesterol. And at the same time, her triglycerides almost went down to normal. So, I mean, what more can we say? Well, let's do, let's say more. All right. So the other thing that it helps with Candida. Berberine has been shown to be an antifungal, especially the studies were done with it against Candida. It's been shown to work at getting rid of fluconazole resistant uh, fungus. So that means the drug didn't work. Berberine actually did. And Candida is what was growing on her toenail. So when you have uh, a toenail fungus or white film in your mouth, uh, that's usually candida. Sometimes it can even grow on the skin too uh, and mimic skin issues. So again, helping her with the candida, she was very happy about that. And then the next thing that it helps with polycystic ovarian syndrome. Wow, this is matching her condition almost perfectly. So we have to know, first of all, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, is a blood sugar problem. When women have blood sugar that's too high, too low, or at roller coasters, that activates an enzyme in the ovaries, and that can off-level estrogen progesterone balances, or it starts to convert your estrogens into testosterone, which is not good, but that's more the factor that causes PCOS. So definitely just getting blood sugar under control with the berberine, that's what really helps the PCOS issue. The next thing it's been found to do is help with SIBO. So her gut issues, SIBO is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So she had a lot of bad bacteria growing in her gut and not enough good bacteria. So SIBO uh, was helped. And in fact, there's studies on that. In fact, they found it, it was just as effective as specific antibiotic to providing a negative SIBO test. So before they did this study, they tested them. It was positive for SIBO. They gave berberine. Then they retested and the test was negative. Pretty amazing. So now put that, put berberine in combination with a probiotic, you can't lose. All right. And then what was the next thing? Helps with weight loss. So the big number seven here. Yeah, absolutely. You get diabetes, metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, leptin under control 
that's what the berberine's doing. The only thing that can happen is you lose weight because now your blood sugar is not way up and your insulin's not surging. So fantastic stuff, berberine. I'm very impressed with it. The studies are showing its effectiveness. Um, again, before you take anything like berberine though, it is good to consult with your doctor because you wanna make sure it does not interact with anything you're currently taking. And then also berberine does affect the immune system. So it stimulates it in a certain skew. So if you have an autoimmune issue, you also wanna be a little cautious in diving right in with berberine um, because you don't wanna push your immune system in the wrong direction too. Too. And sometimes if you take too much berberine, it can make you feel a little lousy too. So it's also important to get the dose right, which I'll talk more about berberine and dosage and everything like that in this other video that I'll put up here. So do watch that if you haven't seen it already. And God bless, and I'll see you next time.